Okay, this video, this is a 2022 13 foot scamp without a bathroom. She's a friend of mine. She came down from Chicago, actually came up from Chicago. And um, she's in the campground above me. I'm down the street, no hookup campground. But anyway, let me show you around this 22 scamp 13 foot without a bathroom. Got a lot, a lot of new modifications to it. So let's check them out and go through it one by one. Okay, first of all, she's got a single propane tank, and I guess she's got a 27 battery right there. I'm going to take the cover off, let y'all see what it looks like without the cover, but they went to a new scamp detail right there. That's brand new, but let me take the cover off and show you that. Okay, it took the gravel shield off, and there you go. That's what it looks like. She has a behind the gravel shield that took off. She has an LED outside light. Single tank, like I said. This is a new feature right here. They have running lights. That's what that is. But And this right here is new too. It's spring-loaded. <clears throat> Where on mine, it's not spring-loaded. It stays up, but as you can see, it's like that. But And they, of course, they got that new door handle they went to. Got some more running lights right here. Got an outside receptacle right there. That's real handy. There's the stabilizers. This is another new thing they got. See the Christmas trees in the bumper? And they have a two inch receiver that she said that they're not charging for that anymore. Then you got your fresh water hookup right there. Um, got the new decal on the tire cover. Keep on going around. Okay, you got the see the cord running in there. Right here, you got the control your refrigerator and your furnace, I believe. Yeah. And then you got some more lights. But yeah, that's basically the outside, so. Let's go in inside and check out the inside of it. But um, the body is the same, they just did a whole lot more updates. As you can tell, the windows aren't crank out windows anymore, they're slider windows. Right there, like on mine, it's frosted in mine, on my 17 and it cranks out. But if you notice, these are all slider windows, which are pretty cool, so. Let's go check out the inside. Oh, one more thing. You got your city water hook up right there, and this right here is your drain plug. Basically what you do is you put a hose up there, and you can drain it into a five gallon bucket, or whatever you want to drain it in. The back window is a slider too, and as you see up top, she's got the max fan, and she also got the awning. I'm trying to walk and shoot at the same time, and right there you can see she's got the LED light sliders. But I really like this new door. I mean, I think that new door is really cool. But let's go ahead and open the new door up and check out the inside. But first, I want to look at this door handle they put on it now. Got two locks instead of one like mine. But uh, look at that. Nice. Very nice. There's a little man being so patient. What are you doing, baby? I don't think he's feeling real good today. I'm not really sure, but let's get back to the video. Okay, as you can see, they got this hinge now. Instead of having two hinges, this whole door is nothing but hinges. And if also, if you notice, the door is square now. Mine is round, but if you notice, this door is square, which is a pretty cool idea. And it's also got a screen. Pretty nice screen. Screen door closed. To open up the screen door, all you do is hit this latch right here. And the screen door, it slides open by itself. But, and then right here, you got some controls for your, not really sure. Oh, they're for your lights. That's what they are right here. 
and down here this is another thing they added that's a shut off for the whole trailer so if you just want to shut all the power off to the trailer you just turn that thing another good update they did they put receptacles right there mine doesn't have receptacles right there so that's really cool and if you notice the floor is totally different they've upgraded the flooring which that's really nice that they did that got more into the modern day times right there okay over here i used to only have um i had a long door but as you can see they got two doors now which is good you got cabinet right there you got your fire extinguisher right there and right there you notice they got um ubs plugins right there for cigarette lighter and a ubs cord and then you got your receptacle right there which is pretty cool but and then you got lights over there and you got another light right there and the shades more slider windows but check these shades up this is really nice pretty nice huh pretty nice I like that the shades like that and it's got the sink and it's got a two burner stove I'm not gonna attempt to take that off and then you got your sewer ward drawer and you got your cabinet and you got your refrigerator and over here you got um another receptacle and you see the UBS right here plug in your you know phone to charge it or you can use a cigarette lighter right there but those are all new features they didn't have them before and they have them both sides of the camper so that's really cool And you got a slider window right there. You can move the screens adjustable too, but yeah, pretty nice. Really is. They really. You got three cabinets up there. Then you got your fan. She doesn't have an AC, but she does have a fan. So overall, yeah, pretty nice. I mean. You might want to check into a, a scamp travel trailer. I'll give y'all a super wide view of the whole trailer. But, um, and also that, um, support right there, they've changed that. Those are Christmas trees, a lot better looking than the other one. But overall, that's your view of a scamp 13 foot travel trailer, um, 2022. So, hope y'all enjoyed the video okay there you go that's an overall view of a, a 2022 scamp i'm gonna give you all a run around real quick got a single tank on it battery gravel shield goes back up new flat door real nice door don't have any of that rat fire on it so it should clean up real good then you got your awning got another slider window got your led got your running lights right there outside receptacle there's a mole little man right there get back baby don't try to jump out don't jump out no don't jump out okay come around back got the two inch receiver right there got our jacks down got a new scamp decal cover on the tire new design on the lights fresh water okay you plug in goes to your power box more running lights city water connection drain plug your furnace in your refrigerator slider windows more slider windows but there you go okay if you notice a lock on our trailer it's what you call a puck lock and what you do you have to unlock it from under the trailer and then I'm gonna show y'all how the puck lock works first of all you took the lock out of there this piece here you unlock from the bottom you pop that piece off just like that you pull this off right here okay and then you just do it like you know normal and there you go it all drops down you got your chains you got your puck well that's a puck lock I believe it runs for about 249 if I'm not mistaken but it's a good safety deal if you worry about your camper being stolen 
it's pretty heavy duty I just had me a regular lock on mine but that one seems a lot better so I mean y'all might want to think about that I mean and once again it's called a puck lock okay me and little man are sitting around the fire just kick back enjoying so I figured I'd, I'd give you all a recap on this video exactly what scamp has changed because a lot of us some pretty cool stuff um, the biggest thing for me is the door that flat door is great with that full hinge on it and also the new door locks on the door that's excellent also the slider windows mine are crank outs but I like slider windows a whole lot better the windows you notice that they all have screen and also if you notice the window above my um above their stove above my stove it's frosted above the new stove and the new campers it's clear so you can see out of it but all the windows have screens and they slide all back and forth and another great thing they did they went to those shades those shades are i mean they work excellent they're real nice i mean I mean, you can still put curtains up with them, but the old curtains that they used to come with were, uh, they were pretty yucky. So these shades, that's a great improvement too. But like I've stated all through this video, they've made a lot of good improvements trying to update the scamps and keep up with time. So, and also now you get that two inch hitch on the back of your trailer and it doesn't cost you anything. But the main thing for me was the door and that hinge because that, you know, that's so important on these scamps. If you look behind me, my door is round at the bottom, so I have leaks and all kind of stuff I have to worry about. But overall, the new 2022 scamps are, I think they're built a little bit better too. I like the new floor pattern they went to, and hopefully I'm not getting all the smoke in my video, but, um, and that cutoff switch, so, you know, if something goes wrong, you don't have to, you know, bite yourself, bite yourself, or whatever to get to your breaker box you just turn that switch and um yeah the power's cut off in your trailer and all those are uh, receptacles you know the dc plug-ins and dc usb plug-ins that's a great addition too they came up with but uh yeah i think you know they're coming along they're doing a lot better i mean it seems like every year they're improving the scamp so i mean but like i said the most important thing for me was that door because i mean I've had so much problems with my door sagging and I've tried different ways to get it to pick up and I just can't come up with anything so I just you know it is what it is but anyway I just want to give you all that quick recap so if you watch the video over again you'll know what to be looking for but check out the video it's pretty interesting but I'll be going to the scamp rally pretty soon here I think in the next week or so so it's the first time scamp has have, had a rally it's July 23rd 24th 25th i believe but so far i you know i called the girl up there in charge of it and she said they have over 200 scamps coming and they got live bands so it should be pretty good time and it's on a brand new um campground so that means the bathroom's be in great shape but anyway i just wanted to give you all a recap on the video and enjoy it maybe i'll see you at the rally